All right, all right, we're here at Governor's Island, rock the bells, rock the vote. Here with my man Yellow Wolf, what's yeah, up, man? Absolutely, man. Glad to be here, honored to be here. Uh, in the midst of all these legends, you know, in the midst of up and comers, Big Sean just topped out the trailer with Wiz Khalifa, getting warmed up for his set. Um, caught the Slick Rick set, gonna stick around and catch this Wu Tang set. Y'all make some noise for my old boy Yellow Wolf. I've been on the grind for a long time. Uh, the door opened up for me, and I ran through it, you know, and I'm not looking back. And um, I'm, I'm honored to be a part of this game, you know what I'm saying? To be, you know, accepted and respected by my peers, and not only my peers, but, you know, legends and, and, and people that I looked up to coming up like Raekwon and Bun B. Uh, it, it means it means the world to me, man, you know? You got Trunk Music too about to come out, right? Um, yeah, Trunk Music 0 to 60 is coming out. 60, okay, yeah, so. Trunk Music 0 to 60 is coming out and um, basically we've taken um, five of the fan favorites from Trunk Music, which, which is out and available for free download. And uh, we've added uh, seven brand new records onto it. And um, yeah, man, it'll be my first release from Interscope. And uh, it's set up to be a warm up album to the album release in March. Um, so you'll get Trump Music Zero to 60 in September. And then come March, another album, you know, full on bangers. That was an album, something that you've been working on for a while before you got to Interscope, and, uh, and now you're just there and sort of bringing that machine behind it now. And Yeah, the album's been in, been in the works for years, man. We've got records that we've never put out waiting on, you know, a machine, as you call it, you know, waiting on, you know, this Interscope uh, situation. Why did you start rapping? Uh... Because I'm just spontaneously passionate about everything, man. Like, like for instance, I wanted to be, uh, when I was younger, I envisioned myself being a Major League Baseball player. I was playing t-ball. But I would stand in the mirror with my t-ball outfit on, and I would, I would picture myself in a stadium you know, hitting home runs, you know. I wanted to play football for a while. I, I, I pictured myself being, you know, Heisman winner, playing for the Crimson Tide, you know, leading the Tide to a championship. And you couldn't tell me shit, it was me. I was gonna do it, you know. And when I decided that I wanted to do music, or write my first rap, you know, in the fifth grade, I had that same passion, you know, like, well, if I'm going to write it, I'm going to be the best. And it didn't, didn't matter to me how good I was at something, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, I wasn't no expert when I touched the pen, you know, to put the pen to the page for my first rap, you know, I was whack, you know, I, I didn't have a clue of how to do, do this shit. But, you know, passionate to a default, like... I would rather fall down trying, you know what I'm saying, than to not try. That's just my character, you know. And if I'm passionate enough about it, I'll fall, 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 until finally I stop falling, man. You know what I'm saying? I get my balance, and I know what I'm doing. Uh, and that's that's how I approach hip hop, man. You know, I hit a lot of brick walls figuring out my sound, my style, you know. Uh, and, and what it was that was gonna help to define me as an artist in this culture, not just to be a dope rapper, but what can I carry in this game besides just being skillful lyrically? You know, like what can I talk about that helps to define who I am?